and maybe we're going to lose, but this team never give up. Pep, um, Fernandinho uh, was brilliant today. Yeah. As a centre back, seemed to be almost playing mid midfield. Yeah. Um, have you missed him in that midfield role this season? I know you've been happy with Rodri a lot, but. Like, like, uh, uh, yeah, I know he can play there, but you have Gundo, like, uh, I trust a lot with him and, and Rodri. Since uh, we arrived here, we were looking for a holding midfielder, arriving the third season, the fourth season. And, uh, and yeah, Fernandinho was good because we won. If we lose, he plays shit. Yeah, I know that. So we won. So in Anfield, in Anfield was the best central defender we played there. In the back four, they play a disaster. Yeah, I know how it works, this job. He was incredible in Anfield, he was incredible today. He can play that because it's so fast and our build-up is perfect. He has the quality to make them players in that position in front. And for the terms to be aggressive in the midfield, there is the other ones, but to be quick with the ball and to find the new solution. In the smaller spaces, Gundogan really has another quality. That's why sometimes we look for, you know, other situations. Who we see him back in midfield then? Uh, if, if Rodri and Gundo are fit, I don't think so. I think he's going back there in that position. I like Fernandinho in that position. In the problems that we have, I like it. Yeah. I bet. Uh, you said yesterday that everyone thinks the Premier League title race is over. Does that take any of the pressure off you and the players? The only pressure we can have is that we are going to lose the Premier League. Okay, so that is the pressure. We are going to lose the Premier League. It's not the first time I think Manchester City, 100, I don't know how many years is the history, they lose the Premier League. So we are going to lose the Premier League. We are going to try the next season. But I know what happened in this competition in the Premier League when one team in the last decade win the Premier League, what happened the year after? And just to take a look. And we didn't give up last season, that's why we won again. And maybe we're going to lose, but this team never give up. This team trade. And that's why we won today in one incredible top side, and I know it's far away because we did numbers, Liverpool are unstoppable, but what we can do is now is prepare the next Shakhtar to qualify in February in Champions League. And after, but if you believe for Norwich defeat or the other ones, I'm going to doubt to my players because they didn't try it, you are wrong. Because if done last season, we were not able to do what we have done after winning the 100 point Premier League for titles, what never happened before. And even this season, we are there. And you see the games, even Norwich, even, even uh, the Bulls, the Liverpool especially. When is the result, okay? Not to judge the result, but after you have to, I try to judge performance, and I see every morning, every day, my team, and I don't have doubts we're going to try. But today we play Chelsea, and Chelsea score more goals than beat us. What can do? Congratulations! So it's an incredible top team. It's an incredible top team, like Chelsea has done in the last 50, 20 years. But it looks like like we want the last two Premier Leagues. You have to win seven Premier Leagues in a row, and you have to make 200 points every season. So it doesn't work in that way in the in the high high level. In the tennis players, the players lose games, you know that? And golf, not always Tommy Fleet would win the tournament. So I would like but it's not. So we lose, lose. Important how how, how is our spirit after one zero down, after the way we play in Enfield and every game. That is what I want to see in my my team. And I like to be still there, nine points in in where in November. So wow, many many games we 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 have to to play. Um, you've obviously won a lot of trophies as a manager, but if you were to, if you were to win the title this year, given the gap with Liverpool, the problems that you've had to overcome, would this be the biggest achievement of your managerial? The biggest achievement in the Premier League was last season, definitely. If we do it, uh, I'm not going to retire. But uh, we'll be disappointed for. Uh, so, but what I want to say in November, I'm not thinking to win the Premier League. So I don't want to leave. But last season, in the first of the season, I, all the questions is uh, what is going to happen? Every press conference, nine points gap, or ten points, or twelve. I said we're going to lose the Premier League. I don't leave the situation. Oh, I'm going to sleep. Oh, I'm going to lose the Premier League. What's going to happen? Oh, yeah. I'm going to lose the Premier League. 
So I had to do is prepare the game of international play just to training sessions and and incredible team like I'm here without the pressure because it's second in the league with a young team and you know and 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 try to beat them and and that would <coughs> that is what uh, we have done but if we lose we lose but I, I promise you when I will see my team don't fight or no spirit or lack of intensity or desire I'm going to say here so I don't like my team I don't like the way they play. I don't like it. it. In these three years and a half we are together, the people can say we play good or play bad, but they give up. No, that's not happen. You know, we cannot win what we won in the recent years on my teams in, 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 in our careers. So always we try it, we try it. But I accept that the other can be better. So, okay. Talk to the club, to can, we can do better for the future and, and try it again. Then again, Pep, that you won't give up on the title. You and your players won't give up. Uh, how much was today's win down to that uh, character and determination? Not to not give, and, and and how do you maintain that throughout the season when there is that gap? Because it's, it's quite difficult. I, I think we did it the last 24 months or more than 24 months. Like we won, we have a good spirit. You have a good character. We got everything. If you lose, yeah, it's, it's done. So the line is so tight. So so even today. My feeling, the way we played, even today, the foul, how destroy are the players and the locker room and tired. So, so we don't win, we don't win. But it's not the fact. I know. So here we were winners and losers, and and that's all. But I think for the sport is a is a message for the society. It's not good for our kids, for our teenagers. Show them that just the winner is perfect. We are creating a. A depressed people or loser people, and it's not. So, the important is the effort, the commitment, the 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 situation. You do that. So, in football, I know in all sports we want to win, but just win once, and the other is a disaster. It's not that it doesn't work in in that way. That's why I said to the player, relax, do our job. We will see what happened in January and November, December, January, February, March, and we will see. What is the position we find? And it's far away, okay? But it's far away. We're going to try next season. I bet if Sergio's out, obviously that might give a, a chance to Gabriel. Have you, you've always backed him. Have you seen him kind of step up his game a, a level this season? Gabriel started one of the best starts of this season. So, and if, 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 if Sergio cannot play in the next game, we will see tomorrow again. I'm sorry, but I don't know exactly what he has. Uh, Gabriel will be, of course, is our option. Of course, Sterling can play there in that position, but Gabriel is going to play play that. Sure.